Let's have some beer. What be going down, people of the world? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another Daily Drink vlog. My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today, we've got a bottle of Creek de Jacobins. I don't know how to pronounce 90% of the things on this bottle of beer. One of the very first sour beers I ever had was Cuvée de Jacobins. Exactly the same looking guy on the bottle and stuff. And this is made by Omer van der Ginst? I don't know. Right under the date there, which is a best before date. You get to kind of focus on it. There you go. Right there. You can, if you can pronounce that stuff, then good on you. Um, it's a spontaneously fermented ale blended with fresh cherry juice. Coming in at 4.5% ABV. Where the hell is my bottle opener? Goddamn thing hiding on the other side of the freaking room. Oh, let's see the uh, bottle cap. It's kind of cool. Little creek, little guy on it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's crack her open. Let's see. Come on. Close, but no. Let's see what we got. Hoping for maybe some red color. Oh, look at that. Oh my. Oh, picture. The redness of that isn't really coming through, so I'm gonna attempt to not blind you. There you go. Yes. That looks amazing. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> there's cherry in that aroma, but there's also like funk. It smells a lot like a, a cherry cough drop or something, actually. Let's give her a shot. It's it's do it's do uh it's one of the beers that gives me like the chills a little bit. Oh, do it. Wow. That's cherry candy. It's a lot like the, uh, was it sugar stone maple sour that I had from New Ontario, like really, really recently, in that. It's like a candy. That maple one was like some kind of sour maple candy. It's like a sour cherry candy. That's delightful. Let's do this. A cheers, everybody. More tart than sour. It's not like one of those mouth puckering beers. Just the the candy esque nature of this beer is blowing my frickin' mind. It's so tasty. Um, got some product of Belgium. Contains barley and wheat. That's actually pretty funny. It says barley and wheat. Not and, and. Well done. Aged 18 months in oaken folders, Creek de Jacobins explodes with bountiful cherry aroma. Fresh acidity balances deep woody notes and delicate sweetness. The finish is fruity, tart, dry, and complex with a lingering kiss of almonds and fresh cherries. Almonds. Excuse me. I got no almonds. Um, enriched with 20% cherries, whatever that means. Yeah, apparently it's good until uh, 
think it's an April 17th of next year. If it was aged for 18 months, I imagine it's going to be okay for a little bit, even though it's only 4.5%. It's one of those, I don't know, any kind of residue on the bottom. A couple of drips, though. Don't want to leave those. No. And you can find them located at, what the hell was it? Ulmer Vander Ginsty Ginsty.be slash en. Yeah, sure. This particular one, I might actually, if I remember. Well, I need to put it right here. Why'd I do that? I put it in the description every time anyway. Look in the description if you want to find the brewery. As it's always been. I'm pretty sure I've done that since like the since number one. Even though that wasn't a brewery, that was Kraken. That was supposed to be something that was supposed to happen with the daily drink vlog, is it wasn't supposed to just be beer. It was supposed to be just like alcoholic beverages. Like I was supposed to try some rye and some rum and some blah and blah. Maybe someday. I don't know. Mm. The beer is freaking delightful. Another one like I was talking about with that. Sorry, my voice has gone insane. The new Ontario Sour Maple Beer that I had. It's like, it's really impressive to me. The amount of flavor, depth of flavor, flavor profile, everything that can be achieved while still keeping that ABB down. This. I wouldn't say most, but a good number of the more sessionable beers that I've had are very much on the little bit of a boring side. Not this one. Very much not. Uh, 945. Yeah, we can do it. Why not? Untapped, 3.91 into 5 with 9,478 ratings overall. Beer Advocate, 3.93 out of 5, 126 ratings overall. And Rate Beer. Really? You son of a bitch. I have to click on the alias of the beer. Stupid, stupid, stupid. 3.18 out of 5 with 177 ratings overall. Yeah. And apparently it used to be in a different looking bottle. If you care. Lost my mind. Mm. I don't know if I can actually have another one of these though. Like it's really overwhelming the palate with that cherry presence. What is this down here? Belgian Family Brewers. Hmm, oh, they're like some kind of alliance of Belgian brewing company things or something. If you're all getting together to band against the Anheuser-Busch and InBev and all that garbage, then good on you. Mm. That's really impressive. Really, really drinkable. Again, though, one is enough. Really sweet candy cherry going on. Treat number last. Um, what was it again? Ulmer Vander Ginst. Ginst Day. I don't know. This particular beer, made by some people that brew stuff, rating 8.75. Nah, 8.5. Did they bump it up to actually 9.5 if it had ingredients in a date, which it is not, except for the barley and wheat, and wheat, and the best before date. <laughs> 
excuse me. And that's gonna do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, a little thumbs up action. Always appreciate it. You wanna see more of my videos? Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification icon so you know when new stuff goes live. And if you got some say to me, comments, as always, go in the box down below. Have you had this beer? Did you have the cuvee de Jacobins? What do you think of it? Start the conversation in the comments down below. I appreciate it. It's always fun to talk to you guys. I like it. Thanks again. And that's going to... Nope. And I'll be back with another diligent vlog tomorrow. A uh, Peace out! It seems every single time that I kind of go off on a bit of a tangent during the outro the end of it just falls apart. Goddamn.